Hi everyone, in this video we'll be looking at some of the other options the new Perry Page app has to offer us. We've already looked at notes and images, label edits and photo printing, so if you want to watch a video on any of those, um, you can watch my previous video. Today we'll be looking at text scanner, templates, documents, banner and website. So let's get started with text scanner. It opens camera for us, so we can take a picture if we want to, or we can choose something from our gallery. We'll um, start with something um, which we have printed out or written down. It does have a lot of trouble with uh, written text, so be careful for that. We'll, we'll just give it a try. So this paper that says test on it, we'll place it and take a picture of it. And then um, you have to select the language from your text. And then you can, so it's on English right now, <laughs> and then you can press the scan button. Okay, so this is what it managed to make of it. That's not really what it said, but you can still go ahead and edit it by hand. So you can place everything that was missing from it. And then you can um, change the layout, the font and everything uh, down below over here. So text, image, stickers, a uh, frame around your prints, um, QR codes or a barcode and graffiti. I've covered all of these in my last video. So if you uh, want to know how any of these work, you can check out my previous video. Then we can press print. Oh, we have to first turn our printer on, of course. So hold in the power button and now it's on. So let's press print. Here we go. Connectable device. Please connect. Yeah, it's connected now. Great. Let's go to print. And here's your preview. It's on picture printing right now. So you have to turn it to text. because um, it is actually a different mode. In um, the Word document I'll be showing you in just a second, you can see it very clearly. Um, and then you could go ahead and print it, but we don't really want this print. So we'll try it with uh, a Word document. We wouldn't like to save it. So let's try that again. Text scanner. And then we can go to our gallery. And here you have just a Word document. So it's still in English. I'll show you how you can do that. So it's English. Let's uh, give it a go. So it's almost fully correct. The B wasn't supposed to be there, so we can just change that. And um, it doesn't have a space after the full stop, but we can change that by hand. So now we could go ahead and print this. And it would just get some printed text. I'll show you what it would look like. Let's place it on text printing and let's print it. And there you go. That's how the text scanning works. Let's move on. Then we would get to the templates. So these are things you can just pick like um, checklists, for example, and you could fill them up with stuff to do. They don't just have three options. It's just, um, it's downloading right now. How many you choose to fill, how many lines, of text you want. So right now it's one and then it will create a new one if we enter our text. So as you can see, this is what it would look like. Let's press print again and This is what it would look like. 
is very cute for a shopping list or just a regular checklist. Um, this is the 203 DPI version of my printer, so it's a little bit less quality than the uh, higher resolution one, which I've all linked in the description of my previous video, but I think it still turned out pretty great. So let's move on. We can now go to documents. This uh, lets you import a document from Word, PDF or something else. So you, if you have a document open, I'll show you. So let's go to Word. And then here we, this is the Word app for the iPad. So you can just download that if you wish and open document. I'll show you what the document looks like. So it starts off with just text. This is uh, a template, some more text. It includes an image. So I thought it would be nice to show you what it would be like and some more text. So then you can go ahead and press the sharing icon right there. And then you can just, as you can see, share, send a copy and then send with another app. And then you can send it to the Perry page app. So if you've done that, it will show up in your document printing um, thing. So right now it says document.docs and that's the one we just saw. So let's go ahead and open that. And this is what it has turned it into right now. So very big text, as you can see, because this is one of the printing things. So it's turned it into 14 different pages, but I think we can also read it if the text is a bit smaller. So let's decrease the size of that. So as you can see, this um, makes your text size smaller. This makes it bigger and this changes the layout. So if you want it to be, oh, well, we'll just see what it does. Oh, okay. Maybe. That was not what I thought it was. This is uh, for the different sections. So it can also have three different sections, but we don't want that. We just want it on one page. So um, let's keep decreasing the size of our prints. It doesn't go any smaller than this. So this is the smallest it will go. Now we still have four pages. So that's a lot um, better than 14. So here we have our first page. It's kept the layout as you can see because we had this in our top right corner this the other side so as you can see this and here we have our picture so let's press the printing button now it gives us a couple of settings concentration setting we'll just leave that in the middle that's great you can also only print some pages so all pages the current page so that's the front page for me the selected page or customize so you can say i only want page number one and three for example so um let's just say we want all pages and then it starts printing so here we go and then it gives us a little time to rip it off and then it starts with the second page. So now you need to rip it off and it will start again. Our image hasn't turned out that well, but the text is very readable. So this is a great font. And there we go. So it gives you a little time to rip the pages off in between. And then we have our printed Word document. That's very handy. Let's move on to banner. So um, sometimes you can see a soccer play or something like that on the TV and people are standing on the sidelines with those scarf type of things with letters on them, like go team go. Um, that's kind of like this, it's sideways. So this would be the top. I'm not sure if you can really see it, but it's a bit ruffled. So that indicates that it's the top. So let's uh, start by seeing something yeah let's go go team go but you can do all kinds of things obviously mm, congratulations i don't know um you can uh 
oh you can change it up actually so if you want it to be a long strip with words so it would be like this you could do that over there but I think it's better if it's just um, horizontal so we can also change our um, size so well you can make it really small or large as it can go and also different types of fonts so it's downloading right now like this and uh, those are the options you have let's put it back to default and uh, let's print it it says it's about 22 centimeters centimeters so let's uh, let's see here's our preview we'll set it on text printing and uh, let's go So, as you can see, we made a little banner. So, lastly, we have the website option. So, you can um, fill in a link from a website. So let's paste. And then you would get this page. So, if we would go to, um, we can change the text size but we'll keep it as it was before and then we go to print it says web print current page so that's what we see right now or all pages then we'd go all the way to the bottom but we'll just say current page so this is what you see right now is what we just saw and with this is very clear what the text printing and the picture printing um, does so as you can see right now it's in text printing mode and now it's in picture printing mode so the pictures are better but the quality of the text is worse but let's do it like this and let's print it so there we go we've now covered all of the other options there are except for AR photo and text edits I hope you have enjoyed this video and I hope you found it educational. Goodbye.